Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's gonna be for Pisces. Pisces. I just saw a bulldog, so I don't know. To me, it's like spunk, right? Um, that's the vibe I got. Um, is there such a thing as a spiritual meaning of a bulldog? Spiritual meaning of a bulldog? I don't know. I'm about to find out. What does a bulldog symbolize? Long-standing association with the British culture. National icon symbolizing pluck and determination. Okay. So. And linked to the Prime Minister, Winston Churchill. Okay. Um, could be dealing with past life situations here too, but to me it's more like you're a bulldog. So. Pluck and determination is what it symbolizes. But you could be stubbornly loyal and determined to do the right thing. But it's also a warning you must be careful. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> to me, it's more like, whew, feisty a bulldog. Okay, so let's see. Let's see my little fishies. We get pitter patter. Sheldon's walking around. Week two, Pisces. Week two, Pisces. Death. Bottom of the deck, happiness. So, this is the total opposite energy, right? So, you can choose to stay in this, or you can choose to be happy. So endings are beginnings, and it's like, choose to see it or not, you know, is the type of vibe. Current energy for Pisces. Romantic feelings, what he or she is feeling about you. Lucy, you might be meeting somebody new or this is a current situation. Express your love. Someone wants to talk to you. Chemistry and engagement. So somebody wants more than what they're actually saying. What you don't see coming or what you're unaware of. Playfulness. Wow. Possible outcome. I just don't understand. The, this is gentle energy. Where's the bulldog coming from? I bet you some of you right now are like, didn't see this coming. Pay attention to red flags. So there's still something like iffy. But you have the death card, right? So I don't know if you're meeting somebody new. So let's get into your current past. Two days ago, two hours ago, two weeks ago, 22 months ago, two years ago. Deception. Okay, and we quite love. So a one-sided situation ship. So to me, I think you're getting through something. This is funny. This was reversed. It says believe. So I, I don't know. I don't even want to put it there. That's what it was before. I just happened to pick up on it. So I don't know what that's about. <sighs> Because the two things came to me. Do you believe in magic? But the first one that came to me was a Shrek song. Um, and then I got, do you believe in love? That's love. Um, but the first one was Shrek. Like, that's not how it goes. Um, I'm a believer. And I got, and I saw his face. Something out of my mind. You're in love. Ooh. Oh, all right. Wow. So those are good songs. So you got something. You have something positive here. Wow. Tell me about romantic feelings for Pisces week two, please, May 2021. 
I still feel like there's something here saying you're linked to the other water signs, though. So I don't know if you're just more advanced. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody wants to tell you exactly how they feel. Someone wants to take you out. They're looking at you like you're worthy. But it, it's out of see. I don't know if the truth is about to be exposed. We'll see with the moon here. It's not being exposed yet. I don't know if there's too many people in the picture. Could you get, take me to deception? It's like someone's not telling you how they feel, what they want. Someone's about to give you clarity. Three of Cups again, three of Wands. Yeah, see, there was there was someone feeling stuck in a situation. There was definitely other people involved. There's an ending to a situation. Someone will soon be an ex, or they were an ex, but still interfering. Or this is nosy Nelly, nosy Charlie. You know, a mother-in-law, somebody saying something about something. Uh, someone's mother, father, you know. So communication is about to come out. Could have been last night, three days ago. About where somebody was, what they were doing. Somebody was giving to too many people. And it's still, it's still giving, but wants the balance, but still giving. So wants to tell you how they feel, but it's, it's, still, it's still hidden from you. So I don't know if you're just trying to figure out how to do it or they are. Tell me, express your love. Yeah, see, this is somebody... See, you're on the same page as somebody coming in Prince and Princesses, but I don't feel like you're aware of that. Yeah, see, it's like they're not telling you. They can't stop thinking about you long term. They see it, they want it, they can feel, it's like, see, touch, taste, feel, it's like all the five senses. Where the fuck did that come from? There must be something extremely sensual with whoever this is regarding. This could have been someone you just started dating, and you don't see that sensitivity, you don't see that side yet. But this is the possible outcome, there's still something, yeah, that's, see, the truth is still not being told. And you got deception right there. So I don't I don't like that. Tell me about chemistry. This is somebody at their crossroads but needs to like speak up. Well yeah, that's chemistry all day. She's like the definition of luxurious and sensual and sexual and you know what is hot girl summer? I don't even I don't even know the exact definition of that, but that's what just came to me. Hmm, I hope someone's not looking at you like a, I don't know, tell me engagement. So somebody wants something more. Oh, painting just fell. Sheldon's walking around. Yeah, see, somebody's really going within. You got a masculine here that's really loving you. Loves your spunk. You, I mean, you keep, this is either clarity Someone wants something solid with you, or there's too many people in the picture. So, I don't know if you wanted more, or they wanted more, and they're just kind of like going within, like, I don't know. I love you, but I don't know. A lot of chemistry, I don't know. But see, this is somebody who needs to express something, how they feel about someone else, maybe. What's this Ten of Cups? Because I feel like that's the ending to something. So kind of, yeah, see? Whoa, yeah. I knew I felt it. It's the death card, the tenor, sword, strength, the wheel. But it's like they're not wanting it. They're talking but not talking. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it could be somebody that wants. I just saw a coffin, which is endings and new beginnings. It's the same as that. So... There was some type of dynamic. Girl with a snake. Narcissist being charmed. So, you know, sudden change, shocking news. So this is something that's coming in towards this person. I feel like this is different. Tell me about engagement. So I, I don't, there's something, man. 
this is also someone like, do I want to stay single? Do I want to do that? Like, this is somebody going in within because they love. See, love, unconditional love. But someone's going to feel stabbed in the back, whether it's you or them. So, see, there's somebody was hiding something. Hiding how they feel for you. or You were hiding how you felt for them because there was still something going on. So tell me about playfulness. This is what you don't see. This is somebody who wants to recapture something with you. I don't know if all of a sudden they, they want to believe. Yeah, see, they can't stop. See, this is the hangman. It's, now you got this masculine energy that's changing the perspective when it comes to something. But this is weighing extremely heavy on them. They still feel stuck. But to me, it's like they're getting themselves out of that because they're more like, all right, different approach or... I need to sacrifice. I need to lay the weight down. What are they thinking about? How to get away with something. How to move forward. See, Tower, Eight of Cups, Star. But, like, pay attention to red flags. See, there's still something sneaky here. It's, it's like the way somebody wants to get out of a situation is through lies, deception. Or this is how someone's going to feel. Show me, pay attention to red flags. So the truth needs to be exposed. Yeah, pay attention to red flags. See, there's still something shady going on. Something toxic. So somebody was unaware that somebody has feelings for somebody else. It's clear as day. So it's like shocking. It's going to shock this energy. Whoever this other message is going to. And I don't even know. This doesn't feel like it happened. But it's in the current past. So it must have. Tell me about this conversation. Well not the conversation. But the eight of wands. Tell me what was said. Because something was said. Yeah see it caused a massive argument. Fighting. Arguing. I don't know if somebody thought they were going to win in a situation. This is winning at all costs. This is manipulation. So you got two people that are angry with each other, being lied to. Somebody wants to be with somebody else. Somebody is going to change their minds. And I think this is more like being exposed. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. They could just be keeping it from you. But the pay attention, yeah, see, they want that. And it looks like it's going to be exposed. But the pay attention to red flags, there's something shady going on here. And, I, and if it's not shady, it's it's just like, it's a big wake-up call. Yeah, see, it's like somebody being strategic, keeping their options open, or telling somebody my options are open, but yet they're manifesting something new. So there had to have been some type of situation that's ending. I feel like if it's over, it just is over, like now. Like, I don't feel like this took place yet. Which is strange because the recent past. I feel like this was within like the last couple of days or somebody deciding. I'm, I'm telling you it's something because it's still unknown. The, the truth hasn't been told yet. That's the current energy. It's almost like you know something's being hidden. You're very intuitive. You're, you're not foolish. So I don't know if you put something to an end. Too many people in the picture. Now you're single. Somebody's really thinking about you. It's going to be beautiful. And what somebody else doesn't see is somebody's having a new start elsewhere. But pay attention to red flags. Like, there's still something going on, guys. Like, there's still... This is what I want to explore more. Because this is somebody who's, like, having a little bit of a wake-up call, right? But healing heart and a butterfly... Healing from heartache, freedom from a toxic relationship. We saw that with the devil. But we also have a relationship evolving and going to the next phase. So two different things. So to me, it's like, but there's still something shady. What is this? To me, if somebody does something right, it can work out. See, I, 
This is somebody who's just extremely concentrated on work, weighed down, worried about their own investments, worried about moving forward. Somebody solid though, so it is this is really hidden and it's the possible outcome. So it, it you know, it can go either way. This person or you can turn your back on, on something and focus more on you, but I mean it's gonna weigh you down. This is work weighing somebody down for sure all day. Somebody more concentrated on work than anything. Numbing, yeah, like don't want to deal with it. But then there's union, okay? So it's like, oh, what do I do? That's, that's why there's a wake-up call. Someone's still healing, but it's like it doesn't even show that up here. And there's some type of relationship coming back together. It might not even be with this person or that person. I mean, it could be somebody new, guys. Um... Yeah, you, I mean, I just asked what this butterfly is, and you got the lovers. It's a pretty kick-ass connection. Relationship involved and going to the next phase. You do have somebody that's going to hit you up. So somebody lied to somebody else about what was going down between you and somebody. Well, you lied to them. Oh, this wasn't even a duck I wanted to grab. If you think someone is lying, they are. Okay. Okay. I'm just hoping it's lying about how they truly feel. And it's like, you guys will figure it out, but... There's a lot of in between that needs to be discovered and worked out. Yes, yeah, two sixes, huh? It's it's like they are moving forward. They do want success. So they're lying to somebody about moving forward and what they want next. All right, and teamwork is gonna have to come into play here. Someone's gonna have to put more effort in. So they're they're lying about who they're talking to, communicating with online. That could be online. That could be someone in the public eye. They're just, they're lying about who they're moving forward with because they're trying to keep something kosher, which is not cool. So I hope you guys can work it out. I'll see you in the extended, okay? Hmm, hold on. Hold up, wait. What's that next episode? We be. Hmm. You have a family situation. You have somebody who's lying. You know, charmed, use boundaries. Somebody who's just trying to say what they want to say to keep somebody in a situation. It's just, it's not going to work though. Looks like everybody lost. It's like, why lie? It's, oh, man. Maybe it's necessary. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to justify excuses or bullshit or lies. So let's see what comes out in the extended. I feel like there's something else here that I'm just not seeing. I mean, I'm seeing it. I'm reading it. But someone's lying about moving forward. And putting effort elsewhere and wanting a new start. Lying about a new start, moving forward. Shitty. It's just, it's shitty. Like, that's going to catch up to you or someone else, guys. Honestly. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay, well, I will see you in the extended. Just, I need you still to be weary.
of a situation. I, I don't see straight talk here. I see someone more focused on work, money, investments. Not love. Maybe that's why the tower's coming in. So continue to heal. You got something beautiful right around the corner. I love you guys. Bye.